This is 1979 P. Washington Quarter struck by Philadelphia Mint, circulated extremely fine specimen with some traces of nickel gray luster. Device elements are mostly sharply struck. The 1979 Washington Quarter is not considered rare or valuable in most cases. The Washington Quarter was a standard circulating coin, and millions of them were minted each year. According to PCGS, the US Mint struck about half a billion 1979p Washington quarters making it very common issue. It is fairly common up to MS66 condition. MS67 examples are very scarce. Anything grading higher than MS67 is considered rare. MS67 specimens are worth over $200. MS68 gems are almost unheard of with guidance price of $10,000. Here is 1965 Lincoln Cent in circulated brown condition. Surfaces exhibit numerous contact marks and device elements are not that sharp. Other than that, some unpleasant tarnished stocks prevent a finer grade. The 1965 P. Lincoln Cent is very common especially since over 1.49 billion examples were struck. Only in MS66 condition is it somewhat scarce, yet still thousands of MS66 examples should still be out there. Keep an eye out for high-end MS66 examples since those are very scarce. According to sales records, most valuable 1965 red penny in MS67 was sold for $7,638 in 2014. Moving on with this sharply struck 1998p Washington Quarter, quarters from mid-90s generally display enhanced motifs on Washington's bust, especially the hair part. According to the NGC price guide, as of August 2023, a Washington Quarter from 1998 in circulated condition is worth between 30 cents to 85 cents. However, on the open market, 1998p quarters in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $375. Next piece, this is 1982 P. Jefferson Nickel with weakly impressed reverse. Numerous contact marks are evident on either side and slight circulation drop on high points. Monticello steps are totally flat, so no talk of a full steps here. According to NGC price guide, as of August 2023, a Jefferson Nickel from 1982 in circulated condition is worth between 10 cents to 20 cents. However, on the open market, 1982p nickels in pristine uncirculated condition sell for as much as $165. This 1989p was what diamond circulated extremely fine condition, surfaces are neatly preserved and bits of mint luster evident on selected areas. Coin is mostly sharply struck, but the torch on the reverse display no full bands features. According to NGC price guide, as of August 2023, Roosevelt time from 1989, in circulated condition is worth between 15 cents and 35 cents. However, on the open market, 1989p times in superb gem condition sell for as much as $30. MS68 gems with full bands are rare. For instance, one specimen was sold for $2,925 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction in 2018. Here is 1973 Lincoln Cent in brown very fine condition, slightly tarnished specimen with traces of dye fatigue on reverse. Some letterings on the backside are weakly struck. According to PCGS, the 1973p Lincoln Cent is very common as the US Mint struck over 3.7 billion examples for circulation. Finding an example up to about MS65 condition is very easy. PCGS reported 56 specimens in MS67 and just 5 specimens in MS67+. Plus. Guiding price for the latter is $4,600. Here is an error 1968 D-Rose time it's likely a strike-through error. This large, irregular, elevated surface on the nose of the president. Coin overall displays average strike level. Numerous dye polishing lines are evident on the left half of the obverse. The numeral 8 displays irregular shape. Torch on the reverse is not fully struck, so no full bands here. According to NGC price guide, as of August 2023, a Roosevelt time from 1968 in circulated condition is worth between 15 cents and 
35 cents. However, on the open market, 1968 D dimes in pristine uncirculated condition sell for as much as $165. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one.